doing a calibration video today first you must raise the vehicle up to its maximum height only using the pressure needed to get there you look at your sensors and make sure that they're over the 50 percent travel which is the mark between the top and the middle on the top and the bottom and then you go to your settings page you start calibration you go continue continue and you hit start the vehicle will start dropping it's calculating the drop time for the vehicle to air out and then once you're in the calibration mode the lock key will come up it'll continue to say calibrating up on the top at any point you have an issue or a problem you can hit cancel to get out of it and then go back into manual mode after it's aired out it'll take 10 to 15 seconds and then it will come back up like it is now to around 40 percent and then the compressors will come back on we've currently dropped to about 172 this car is running two four gallon tanks so we have eight gallons of air running at 200 psi and you'll notice on the dash here that with two compressors running it draws the voltage down to just on 12 volts if you raise the rpm of the vehicle up slightly and i've only done this by about 200 rpm the voltage is increasing meaning that the compressors will run faster and they will fill quicker a lot of vehicles when they add air suspension and they add multiple compressors don't upgrade the battery or the alternator so when the vehicle is at idle it is now producing less amps and less charge to your battery because there is a greater drain on the system so what we recommend with any type of airbag system that you fit to your car is you have a look at the battery that you're running you can upgrade to a marine or a deep cycle battery and you can also look at upgrading your alternator this particular vehicle my 59 chevy we've got a 160 amp alternator in this so at idle it's still really only producing around 70 to 80 amps but the stock one was probably only introduced putting through around 60 amps so that with everything else combined of the car running and all the electricals is barely enough for it to keep up and you can see it drops below 12 volts when i let it down and it comes back up again so essentially what we want you to make sure you do is that you have your alternator upgraded and you also have good grounds bad ground wire can cause the vehicle to draw more amps and will pull this down as well a good idea is to run the same size cable that you would have from your starter motor to your battery to run that as a ground cable from the ground on your battery back to where you mount all your equipment this will ensure that your grounds will be a lot better so now that the car is filled it's now going through the process of dropping the back of the vehicle down that's the first part of the calibration and then once it's past that it will then step on to the next part which is chesting each of the corners of the vehicle and you can see here the pressures around 70 to 64 this is where we start at most of our calibrations it's about 40 percent of the available travel that it measured not the available travel that the sensor has in total but what it's actually measured from all the way up to all the way down so now it's back here and it's on the front of the vehicle and it's doing individual corners to check the effect it has on the opposite corners now being it's a heightened pressure system it does this to set up its terrain sensing so it can detect when the vehicle is on uneven ground this is a unique feature to our product and it's the reason we can maintain such high accuracy other systems on the market start from around 8 12 and 15 percent accuracy where ours is 3 5 and 8 and our 3 5 and 8 accuracies are essentially just our shoot to height it will continue to refine it after that so now it's up to the position where it's at max height it's now coming down to the saved 50 percent of travel and you'll see here it's come up a success and that's approximately how long it should take to do a calibration on a car set up similar to this if you have bigger tanks it'll take longer if you have a single compressor it'll take longer as well now if we wanted to save a height now from here other than what this car's already saved you just simply adjust where you want to be on the car you press and hold your ride and it says saved so you are now ready to go around and check all your heights and save it like we have